Step up or shut up. Oh, yeah, you think that's funny? <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Step up or shut up. Power starts with you. So the name of this I chose, honestly, I'll say very painstakingly. And the reason behind it is oftentimes our voice, whether it's women's voices, whether it's people of color's voices, whether it's an individual's voice, oftentimes we second guess our voice. And the reason might be because we don't know how people are gonna to respond to it. Supercharged is me and supercharged is you. I am supercharged, you are too. So when you're talking about your voice and silencing your voice because you're concerned about what other people say or what other people do, or whether it's gonna be received in the right way, whether it's gonna be misunderstood, you may as well be shutting yourself up. And that's why I came up with this topic specifically because if you do not take action, if you don't step up into what I call your superpower, then you're never ever gonna be able to be the most powered up, powerful version of you. And when you don't step up into that power that is yours, in essence, you're telling yourself, shut up. What you say is not worth anything, shut up. What you say is not valuable, shut up. You are not strong, you are not smart, you are not bold, shut up. Why would you do that to you? That's my question. Why would you do it to you? If you think of you as your own best friend and you seek your own counsel, what would you tell a friend who always seemed to doubt themselves? Would you try to boost them up? Would you say, no, you're amazing, you've got this. So if it's good enough for a friend, should it not be good enough for you? Why would you not find a way to be the kindest, most positive, most powered up version of you by being kind and positive and power it up with you? That's the way you say, I'm not gonna shut up. I'm not gonna have my voice silent, silence. In fact, I'm going to step up, I'm going to be counted, I'm going to be heard. But how do you do that? Like oftentimes, I wonder how many people are their own editor, I'll say. Before you even get something out your mouth, you've edited it two, three, four, 10 times. And sometimes then it never comes out. And when it never comes out, what you truly believe and what you truly feel gets lost. That's how you're telling yourself to shut up. So let me get a sign, raise a hand. Have you ever silenced yourself for one reason or another? Yep. Have you ever silenced yourself not even consciously knowing or thinking that you're silencing yourself? Have you ever silenced yourself because you thought, didn't matter, it's okay, it's not worth the time? Have you ever silenced yourself because you didn't think what you had to say was important enough? Why? Why? Anyone? Take a mic, tell me why. Let's get that mic to her. Well, because you feel as though you don't have the, re the like, who am I? Like, what do I have to add to this? I'm no, I don't have a million dollars. I didn't, you know, er, um, build a, billi a billion dollar company. Like, why would my voice be important? Right. Who am I? My answer to that is you are supercharged. That's who you are. And that should always be what you are thinking about, about you. Who are you? You all hear it all the time. You're unique, you're special, you're wonderful, you're this, you're beautiful, you're great, you're awesome. The fact is, you are. But oftentimes you don't see it. And it's hard not to see it when you're surrounding yourself 
and surrounding your thoughts, surrounding your mind, surrounding your spirit, surrounding your soul with things that are telling you, who are you? Yeah, you're nothing. And that's one of the reasons why the summit and the concept of the summit is about not only power, but partnerships. Power, partnerships. And what you'll see this afternoon is power moves, which is what? A move is a what? A step. What was that? I heard somebody say a step. I said it too. That's exactly it. So just look at how all of this is connected. A power move is a step into you being your most powered up, powerful version of you. How do you make that step? How do you have that partnership so you know that you are able to do and be those things? You gotta assess honestly, honestly. Now this I need to show hands on. How many people have ever had that friend or that family member, or that acquaintance, or that colleague, that no matter what, there was nothing they were gonna say to you that made you feel good about you. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you continue to subject yourself? Or do you step up step aside, let them go right on? Or do you say, I want to step right into what they're doing? Because oftentimes what happens is people are attracting these things and they're accepting these things that they don't need to accept. Because someone said, who am I? Well, I guess I am what they say. There must be something they're seeing that's not right about me. Why would they say it? Well, I am here to tell you, you are supercharged. And if you start with that premise of no matter what, you are supercharged, your most powered up, powerful version of you, it really helps you clearly see and understand that there are instances when you need to step up, you need to step away, you need to have somebody step aside, because if not, you are shutting yourself up. If not, you cannot change anything if you do not take the action. So here's what we're gonna do. I need everybody to stand up. Oh yeah, you thought you were gonna sit in these nice chairs? Oh yeah, somebody said yes. Well, no, <laughs> just for a little bit, just for a little bit. What we're gonna do with Step Up, oh, look at you. I'm gonna have you look at a little clip which to me is about stepping up. And Sheila, everybody say, hey, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Okay, you wanna know who she is? <laughs> She's someone who does not shut up. She's someone who uses her voice and, oh my gosh, uses it beautifully. Sheila is the one who is here providing us all of the announcements and the sounds and giving us that wonderful energy there. So Sheila is gonna help us out and she's gonna play this clip. And I want you all still standing with it because there's something we're gonna have to do afterwards. It's only about 30 seconds or so. Here we go. All right. I told you it was short. I am Sue, Sue, Supercharged. Now I need all of you, and if you don't have space, you can go into the aisles. We purposely made this very intimate because it's like you're in my living room. We're hanging out, we're having a good time, we're talking, we're eating, we're having snacks, but we're moving and we're doing. So I need each of you to just lift one foot up and step out. Now, don't leave this one behind. <laughs> lift this up and bring this along with you too. <coughs> Let's try that again. Step out and up. Step out and up. So you know what I call that? I call that action. I call that positive forward action. And whenever you are taking positive forward action, that's how you are showing how supercharged you are. In other words, I call it stepping into your superpower. So what I need all of you to do at this instance 
Somebody, give me a sign, a show of hands, turn to your neighbor, turn to your friend. Think about an instance where you thought there was something that you needed where you weren't enough. You said, who am I? Where you needed a particular skill, where you needed a particular mindset that you did not think you had. But the fact is, you did have it. You may not have realized that you had it. Or at least you had the ability to go know you had the resources to get it and gain it even more. What's an instance for anyone? Many years ago, in a land far, far away called New York, <laughs> I was in media sales. I represented radio and television stations, and we sold their airtime to ad agencies. Now, back then, there were four stations you could sell. I'm dating myself. <laughs> ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. I was the youngest media rep in the country and one of the few women. It was an old boys network. Not quite Mad Men, but pretty close. Mm. <laughs> so for me, at the time, it was, who am I to be a powerful salesperson? Mm -hmm. Who am I to be successful at this? Because they're all telling me, mm -hmm. well, you're just a girl. Right. And I was 23, 24 years old. I knew what I could do, but I was afraid to show it mm -hmm. because of all these men who didn't think I was much of anything, but knew that they hire, had to start hiring women. I love that. Not the story no. of what they thought, but, but I love what you're sharing. Right, and I, I proved them wrong. I started getting 100% orders, mm -hmm. and they didn't know what to do with me. Mm -hmm. So they fired me. Tuh. Yeah. And I went on to go up the corporate ladder, and I became VP of sales for another company. I showed them. Hmm. That's what we call what you all are about to do. It's what we call Rona stepped into her superpower. So when I say how you're going to do it, I want you to say, I'm going to step into it. Rona needed that superpower, and she found it, of perseverance, of dedication, Quite frankly, of you know what, underestimate me. I'll show you, because I am strong enough. How does she do it? She stepped into it 100%. She owned it. So if you don't have room, go find some room, because I need you to step into it. <laughs> All righty? And then I need you to say, oh, yeah, uh -huh. I see. move the chairs. They won't mind. You can, they, they can always go back. <laughs> That's it. So. When there is something you need and you're assessing a situation, how you're gonna do it? You're gonna step into it. How you gonna do it? Step into it. How you gonna do it? Step into it. Okay, so now you hear those words. So when you're saying, who am I? Because that's what someone else has told you and made you doubt it. Who are you? You are strong enough. That video, you are supercharged. The reason I show that, there are boxes, there are blocks. How do you become powered up and powerful? You step into it and you believe it. And oftentimes you need that connection, that energy, that feeling, that physical movement that you make to remind you of that. Because you can say, uh -huh, I'm gonna step into it, yeah. But when you make it real, I'm gonna step into it. When you take that step literally, not just mentally in your mind step, but physically. How you're gonna do it? You're gonna step into it. It's only three things you have to do. Step into it. Let me see that. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, uh -huh, see? I'm gonna even really run and jump into it. How you're gonna do it? You're gonna step into it. Oh yeah. Okay, look, 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 look. <laughs> right now, I am so impressed from here on. Now this side, I think you all need to help them out a little because they stepped into it. <laughs> and this side in the center and over here, they stepped into it. Just think about that. How did it feel when you stepped into it and you raised your chest and you lifted your chin and your head was held high? and your shoulders were back, and you knew you were stepping into something powerful.
You were stepping into you and the true you, the most powered up, powerful version of you. So what we're gonna do, all of us here, we're gonna turn, you all stay. We're gonna turn and we're gonna look at our friends over here. Hey, they're waving. That's it. So you all are gonna ask the question, how you gonna do it? And then they're gonna show you how you do it. Here we go. The question is, how you gonna do it? You're gonna step into it. Oh yeah! All right, so here's what we need. We now need you all to ask your friends over here because now they see. And when you see it, and when you do it, and when you feel it, you can believe it. Oftentimes, if you don't see it, you never think you can believe it. If you don't see someone else doing it, you never think you can believe it. That's where the power comes from, the partnerships. We're a partnership here right today, right now, because they didn't have what they fully needed. They had a little bit. They thought they had it. They didn't show that they had it. You have to show that you have it. You don't have to show it to others. You show it to you, because the most important person should be you. Because if you are not there for you, and if you are not the most powered up, powerful version of you, how are you gonna do it for anyone else? Whether you have family, whether you have friends, whether you have colleagues, you have to believe it and be it and do it. So here, you all are gonna turn to your friends and ask them in whatever way you want. You can head roll, you can put your hands on, you can say this, how are you gonna do it? And let's see if they learned the lessons that you all have showed. Here we go. How you gonna, oh no, how you gonna do it? (laughs) Oh yeah, okay. So you are, I'm gonna let you sit down in just a minute, but not yet, because I'm gonna tell you right now. What happens in here, I always say, we don't have speakers, we don't have panelists, we had amazing group that came up before with our Power Partnerships Deconstructed. We have mentors, we have partners, we have relationships, and that's what we have now. We are mentors for each other. So what I saw, and it's the first thing I saw this time, by being positively empowered and mentored by you. We had this side, some of them went step into it, and some of them improved upon the concept and stepped into it and jumped into it. (laughs) And I love it because it shows that we all can grow and learn together. So one more time, not to each other, but here to me. I'm gonna ask this question. How you gonna do it? I'm gonna step into it. How you gonna do it? I'm gonna step into it. How you gonna do it? All right, so tell me what you feel in this moment. Tell me what you feel. Supercharge, tell me what you feel in this moment. Supercharge, tell me what you feel in this moment. Supercharge. So this does not have to be everyone feeling supercharged. You can be, you can't be. But I really want to know, how do you feel? Because what we have here, what we're doing here, that is the power of partnerships. And that is the power of a positive partnership. That is when you know you're in a room, you're in a place where you are supported, where you are loved, where you matter, where you count, where you make a difference. Every little thing you do matters. Never let anyone say it doesn't, because it does. So how are you gonna do it? Step into it! Hey, I did that right in time! Step into it! Hey, step into it! Hey, okay, you all please feel free to have a seat, because you know what? The fact is, and I like to make, anytime I have a presentation that I am giving, whether it is a conversation one-on-one, whether it is in a room full of people, whether it's hundreds, thousands, does not matter. I always bring me. I always bring me. And me may not be enough for some other people, but it doesn't matter. Me is enough for me. And that's all that matters. So when you get to a point of knowing that your me is enough for you, that's when you will never allow yourself to be silenced. That's when you know 
You are gonna step up, not shut up. You are gonna step up and not silence yourself, not let others silence you, ever. That is when you realize that power starts with you. Doesn't start with other people's opinions of you. It starts with you, your opinion of you, what it is that is important to you, what it is that you want to feel about you. So when I asked you all how you felt in the room when you're all stepping into it, and some said supercharged, and some said great, it's what it is for you. For some of you, you may have said, I felt, you know, all right. And that's all right if it's for you. At the end of the day, if you take nothing else away from this moment and this day, please know you are supercharged and it's you. That is the most important thing, is you. Oftentimes we forget it. Oftentimes we put ourselves at the back of the bus. We make ourselves less important than any other thing. But power starts with you, not with anyone else. It's the moment that you decide that you are supercharged. You are strong enough. You are smart enough. You are bold enough. And when you need to remember that, just remember this little thing. How are you going to do it? That's it. And if you're in a place where you're thinking, oh, if they see me stepping in and doing this, they may wonder what's going on. You can do your mental step into it. You can do your little step into it. You know. And that's all that matters is that it's for you. It's for no one else. This to me, and in the intro, someone mentioned a song and the billboard charts and all of those other things. This song to me is an example of when you shut yourself up. When you tell yourself you don't want to hear it, when you silence yourself. Let's check this out. Now that is what I'm leaving you with. When it is blase, 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 that blase, blah nonsense you're talking to yourself, when you're telling you, who am I? I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. No, somebody else has that. That's noise. That's blase, blah. And in the song, when it says, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from you. I don't want you all to hear it from you. And I say, I is not your mama, I'm not. I'm not your mama. I don't have kids yet. Maybe one day, maybe someday, who knows. I'm not your father, I'm not your friend. Okay, I am your friend. <laughs> but I do say this because I don't wanna hear it in an example of saying, I don't. I don't wanna hear any way that you put yourself down ever because there's enough people out there in the world who will do it. All I wanna hear is that you're gonna step into it. That's it. So supercharged you can be, or you can shut up when you are not being that way. How you gonna do it? How you gonna do it? How you gonna do it? Alrighty, that is all I have for you right now. Yeah, we're only going up. Come and meet me at the summit.